episode is brought to you by GameFound. Create a free pledge manager for your project. Hello, everybody, and good afternoon. My name is Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. Hi. I am Mike Delicio. Greetings. All right. Hello and greetings. Welcome to Crowd Surfing, where we talk about projects on Kickstarter and GameFound and other sites, sometimes, maybe. Rarely. Mm. Uh, the where you always talk about projects that are ending in the next eight, nine days or so. And if we miss it and it's later, it will come up eventually. So a lot of projects, for example, launched yesterday. Right. We don't talk about them unless they're only unless they're done within a week. Right. Yes. Yeah, so whew. If you are a poor person, it's because you follow Kickstarter. Because there's always stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is getting to be I feel like we're getting into the busy par- portion of uh Kickstarter here. I feel like some big titles are coming. Well, yeah. yesterday is when a few yes. big ones dropped, right? Right. We'll look at those later on. No. Interestingly enough, this is a, a week of pre and post Kickstarter because yesterday we did a paid p- playthrough of mm. a game. That's true. Uh, so Dallas. And then tomorrow you're going to see a playthrough of Return to Dark Tower, which is a production copy and the Kickstarter is over. So you're seeing before and after. Very yes. different games, I guess. Ooh. Full circle. Alrighty, but before we get started, Mark wants to talk about a game, so here we go. This week's Spotlight is brought to you by UAO Game. On the summer solstice, the longest day of the year, on the wild, faraway island of Jungla, two fierceless packs, the knights, commanded by the powerful lion Kaiden, and the pirates, led by the cunning tiger Durda, battle for the Tawaali, the scepter of power of the animal world. A terrible struggle is underway to reach the enemy hunting area. Animals fight duels to the bitter end, in which each animal has unique fighting abilities. Luck won't decide the outcome of this contest. Only the side with the most courage, strategy, cunning, and speed will emerge victorious. There can be only one king. So there are two sides or two packs, each consisting of 15 animals. Each animal moves in a different direction and specific number of squares depending on its ability. The direction and number of hexes permitted for each move depends on whether the animal starts from a land or water hex. Hit animals are imprisoned and removed from the board. The aim is to take your animals in your pack from your den hexes to the enemy hunting area, achieving a point. The first pack to score five points or to imprison all the enemy animals wins. So please, go check out the campaign, which is now live on Kickstarter. Alrighty, well, we're not going to waste words. Yeah, we are, but we're not going to waste words right now, even though I am. Let's get into the first project. Stop being so wasteful. (laughs) So what's the name of this one, Z? There we go, Z, come on. You want me to say what it's called? It's called Patria Libri. (laughs) 1810 North American Independence Board Game. All right, so this is about... Uh, Patria Libre. Ah, Patria New Libre. Spain's independence, um, or Mexico. Uh, so this is historically from 1810 to 1821. Not, this actually is a period of time, and again, I realize that I have a U.S.-centric background, but sure. like I don't know much about this war, mm-hmm. mostly because we usually talk about the War of 1812 right. in this period of time, or even the Napoleonic Wars in Europe. Sure. This is not mentioned as much. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, no, this is a very specific time period that they're going for. I think it's nice that they're kind of covering a theme that's not oversaturated, that's for sure, you know? I also think, again, I, I keep coming back to the same horse, but if you're going to make a war game, mm-hmm. make them look interesting, and this is this, and this is also different. Round it tokens. Yeah, there, there's definitely yeah, yeah. some things that set this apart. The thing that I'm a little concerned about is, you know, a little bit of a thing we've mentioned on this show mm-hmm. a number of times is that... There's a lot of different game modes, and that makes me wonder what's the real game, quote unquote. Right. And uh, so, I mean, who knows? But but yeah, I'm with you. I like that there's a different look. I like that the theme is something that is uh, outside of the norm. And it, I mean, I like the graphic design. I think it looks pretty pretty slick. I don't know about those, but yeah. Again, I know we're at the point where you need to throw miniatures into everything, but yeah. sometimes I don't think a game needs it. This, doesn't this look is like one of those games that game. doesn't feel like it needs it. Yeah, it doesn't look like a minis game at all. All right, and then we got Micro Dojo, a tactical board game that fits in your pocket. It's really cheap. Yeah, it, it's very, very That's inexpensive. That's a really inexpensive game, and it, that's why 
It doesn't come in a box. Uh, that is something that I believe is just in a, in a bag. Okay. Um, I'm pretty that sure that's really the case. That really bugs me, actually, on a personal level. I want my game to be in a box. It Double feels... check me, Tom. Uh, but I'm pretty sure, like, if you look at the pledge levels, I think is where they mention it. The problem uh, with that is that it sometimes gets lost in the shuffle. You're right. Yeah. Here it is. It's um, shipped to you in an envelope. Right, right, yeah. right. So it's a it's a micro game in every sense of Can the word. Can you buy right? it in a box? I Frame don't believe so. collector's copy. Maybe that, but that's a hundred. Yeah, they yeah, sign yeah, the yeah, yeah. They sign the Ziploc bag. <laughs> <laughs> they get one of those freezer bags where you can write on it with a sharpie. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, actually there is the envelope. Yeah, you can see it. the envelope and right. everything. <sighs> I know that. Again, I gotta be careful because I don't want to say that. You I mean you're saving money by not sure. having a box? But sure, sure. I put something in an envelope. It sits on the shelf after mm -hmm. the first time. When 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 we do um, board games, oh, can you stretch out your screen a little bit? Got it. When we do board games, um, when I when we have people over, so we just yeah. have people over last night to play games, mm -hmm. and of course I always play some games that are new. Sure. But then I'm like, all right, pick a game from this huge library. No one's gonna look for the envelope. No, right? it gets no, lost no. in the shuffle. Right, it's sure. not yeah. gonna happen. No. Even the little games already are getting lost in the shuffle, but at least they're in a box. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This this reminds me of those games that TMG did back in the day. You remember those little? Yes, this is exactly what, what this, this is like. That, that model, right? I mean, it's super inexpensive. It looks like it's very simple to play. That's true, though, right? Let's say you don't have a lot of money, then this is worth it. Boom, sure. let's get it. I don't care if it's in a box or not. Yeah, this could be something you'd maybe throw, like if you've got a quiver type of a thing. You know, you can throw it in there. That's true. Maybe, if you, you know? have something like that, then yes, it's going to end up in there. Yeah, yeah. And you can play it on a tabletop simulator, so. Looks very simple. I mean, it, it's, it, it might. Might be a cute little, very. It looks like a very kind of a uh, abstract game. All right, the market, a pocket game. Another one. Since a theme here. Yeah. Well, actually, I used to complain about all these pocket games. Yeah. Now I'm kind of like, thank you. <laughs> yeah. I'm so tired of these mega. I'm telling you, yeah, they're cyclical, right? You know, we were yeah. saying it. We might, it might come back. What is she holding there? Um, she is clearly holding. You know, when you go to the bank. That's what I thought it was too. It's a mnemonic. <laughs> and you got to. She's yeah. about to put the we money. We were just in. talking about those yesterday. Either that, or it's the bottom of a giant lightsaber. Could be that. I really yeah. don't know. Could be a bug zapper. This is a. I, 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 isn't it like a? Is it a post-apocalyptic type of a thing? I think it's yeah, dystopian. So who knows? Then I guess it's a light source. Yeah, some type of a light source. Oh, uh, okay. So this is very similar, actually, to the. This looks very similar to the button shy, button shy stuff. Yeah, it mm -hmm. does. It's a different kind of wallet. Sure. Yeah, I was looking at the the kind of the gameplay, and it looks really, really simple. I That's mean, you flux. basically have like these bacon. cards that represent your resources, and you turn the card to tell you how many resources you have. Um, and then there's, a, like I said, a market, literally just a market of cards. Uh, oh, there I, it is. Synth light. Sorry. Oh, there you go. There you and go. And fiddleheads. That's a type of uh, mushroom, isn't it? Why not? Or okay, this artwork looks terrible. <clears throat> it's stylized. I don't, no, it's no, like a, it's, no, it's like not a watercolor, stylized. isn't it? No, well, that may be true. Yeah. But that doesn't look. That no, doesn't mean it's good. I'm with no, Z. I really dislike this. No, art. nothing about this game is appealing to me. To be honest, just to be honest, like I, the, her body proportions seem to be off in a sense. There. No, she has storage pants. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps keeps fiddleheads near her shoes. The bottom of those pants look like onions. They're filled with fiddleheads. That's correct. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. All right, yeah, the art on this alone would actually make me passive. It just looks like a sketchbook, right? It looks like somebody that's just sketching yeah. something. Yeah, it's not done yet. This right. is what it's going to look like. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, but... There's got to be something. There has to be a also, book for a game like right. this. He, he drew this, or whoever... Oh, I'm sorry, whoever drew this, mm -hmm. they drew this picture... And see the arm with the thing? Mm -hmm. They use it for the back of the card. Sure. And then they're... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's one piece of art. Come right. on. Right. Yeah, no, this is not uh, not something that really is appealing to me, but how is it doing, actually, now that we... All right. It's, apparently, it's more akin to an asparagus. Okay. It's like a fern. Yeah, Loopy saying that. I, I, I thought I'd heard I fiddlehead that, right? ferns. Yeah. Uh, not mushrooms, which are awful. How is this doing, Tom? It's doing okay, I think. Uh, barely funding, I believe. Yeah, no, it hasn't no not quite. Yet, but and, it's got a, and it's got a very it modest goal, fun. too. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, what they want is reasonable. Sure, it's not sure. a lot of money. Right. All right, that's so let's fun. jump into something called small, but is not quite. Oh. And that's Mini Quest Adventures, the board book game. Mm -hmm. I almost said the board game book. Yes. Which seems like it would flow better. But, anyhow. What is, mm -hmm. the, what is, what is the board book game? Again, I think it's just... It's a spiral-bound book. 
Right? I think that, that we, need a, we definitely need a better term than the board, board, board book game. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's a right, board right. game book. Anyway, yeah. this looks really interesting for a couple reasons. Mm-hmm. One, it's a dungeon crawl that does not feel overwrought. Mm-hmm. I think right. we can say that most dungeon crawlers these days look really overwrought. Yes. This one seems fairly simple. Mm-hmm. The book idea I like a lot. The idea of the mini quest, thank you. I sure. don't need everything to be massive campaigns. Right. Yeah. My only slight concern is I'm not loving the art. No. I don't dislike it, like the last project, yeah. but I don't love it either. Still, though, I might play this with my kids. The table presence seems this almost pretty has good. A, this almost has a tiny epic feel to it. Is that, doesn't it seem like it's pretty small? Is that going to bother you? Maybe I that's mean, why I'm not lo- loving it. Yeah. Because it just sort of seems gimmicky, maybe, mm. is the word. It, it, looks, it, it looks and comes across as... We're, we managed to make this thing you expect to be a large, you know, yeah. uh, epic feeling game. We managed to shrink it down yeah, that's, that's a lot of stuff. to the size yeah, yeah, of a yeah. book. Right. Great. Now, but, I disagree. This is, to me, this is hugely enticing. If only because of Gloomhaven Jaws of the Lion. Well, it was amazing sure. in Gloomhaven Jaws yeah. of the Lion. I love flipping a book. There's my dungeon. That part is not the part that I'm a little bit skeptical on. I just, because I think that's a great idea. I do like, you know, because Near and Far did it yeah, and the Sleeping Gods do that. it. It's, yeah. it's kind of a thing, this spiral round book now, and, I, and I'm all for it. I think, you know, let's keep doing it because I like that. I think it's a really good solution to this type of a problem. I'll choose that over sorting through tiles any day. For sure. Um, but... I, it's outside of that that I'm just like, it, it seems a bit, I don't know, this word is maybe a little overused, but it does seem a bit generic to me. I was like, what's what's the hook here behind besides the Spiral Bound book? Yeah, but that's a strong hook for me. Okay. The Spiral Bound sure. book, there might be add it to simplicity. I'm telling you, to me, at this point, simplicity is a hook. My concern is that it's not simple enough, actually. That's my issue, is that I'm wondering, is... I don't know because they've got line of sight. They got also it's uh, random dungeons. Well, that's I know. I got no problem with that. A callback to the conversation we had yesterday. Mm. (laughs) I I don't like random dungeons in in video games, but I do like them in board games. I don't know why. Yeah, I think this might end up being closer to a tiny epic game than you're thinking. I think this might just look small Mm. and like be physically small. This might not be a small game. Got yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. Oh, I'm not saying it's a small game. I'm Mm -hmm. just saying you're like, oh, I might my kids. I mean, again, your kids are you know they play Gloomhaven with you, Mm -hmm. but the average kid where you're like, oh, mini quest adventures, psych. It's just physically small. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Interestingly enough, I went to look earlier at all the other games they've done, and I never even heard of any other games. What do we got? All right, I'll pull it up. Um, Do it. So they're from Spain. Okay, that's, uh, that's cool. That's no, good. I'm coming around on Spanish games for sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, Story of the Necromancer, Indie, Copalypse, VG, video game playing cards, and Caveman Warriors. The only one I might have heard of is that their, their previous one, Sword of the Necromancer. Sounds familiar. We may have talked about it when it was it on. It might be, but it's based on an RPG uh, video game. Oh, um, well, I think this company makes... Video games. Okay, okay. Oh yeah, no, this is an RPG. This is not a board game. That's I've why we seen have a this. Steam game. Okay. I've seen this. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, that looks cool. Okay. All right. All right. Well. Wow. Oh. Okay. Anyway, the, the, the board game does that. Mm. Food truck ruse race, an ever evolving family board game enhanced with AR, which. I'm over that gimmick a hundred times over. All Stop right. enhancing games as they are. It doesn't add anything to me. But what about the Aparus, Tom? What do they add? Well, they're cute. My kids so would like this, thing. but oh, that board makes me think. Yeah. That board is a throwback. Talk about marrying the old and the new. Right. So here's here's the thing. I think that these Aparus are really cute looking for little kids. A neat idea. Yes. I think that's really cool, but why not? We've come so far. In kids' games, we've come so far. Yeah, that board why, is awful. Why Look take it. this really cool toy factor, even if you don't like the technology, but that factor is there, and why put it onto Candyland? You know, mm-hmm. put it onto kids' All games. All those can white be so squares much are an abomination. You're, you're basically having kids roll, right. land, do nothing. Yeah. How is that fun? We could do so much better than this. We yeah, have done so much better. Is. But the little toys, I think, are adorable. Yeah, but AR is. Now, take the AR out of it, though. I think even just the design of the little toys are cute. I think the idea of it is cute. But, again, See, but this is what these guys are doing. Game. This is a perfect image for this. Right. Okay, that image with the two uh, 
the two illustrations there where they're basically yes. going old school is all we know <laughs> and we're adding right. AR to it. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You could even do roll and move better than this. You know what I mean? It's Yeah, it's, roll and move. I do like there's sriracha there. I like these things. I would, buy, I, think they're adorable. I would buy those. Yes. As decorations, you mean? No, no like little toys, toys for, for your for kids. For a little kid, right? Yeah. I think that those you can are very yourself. cute. You want a custom onesie? There, there you really go. don't. You're getting it. Okay. <laughs> Hang on. Via I need to cancel my, my pledge here. Mm -hmm. Get these more. See, I might see my kids collecting these at Brews. This yeah, seems like a kid collecting me, thing. Yeah, like the, those Mighty Beans. There's a lot of these types of little toys for out sure. there. You know what I mean? For but, sure. And you could easily make a, a board game that is fun for kids that isn't insulting to their intelligence, you know? And again, I'm not, I don't want to come too hard. I haven't looked at the rules. Maybe it, it doesn't play out like it looks, but let me tell you, it sure doesn't look... Uh, enticing at all. All right. 11 piece gemstone dice with council of 11 dice vaults. Only dice project today. Calm down. Mm. I think it's the only dice project. It is. Yes, I believe okay. so. But it, I put this on here not because I think the dice are in, because it's made $56,000, mm -hmm. which is not, and again, that's for 481 backers, yeah. which means backers are paying over $100 on average each. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I don't personally love these dice because I can't read most of them, mm -hmm. and they're... I'm not loving the font. Like, go back right. up. There's yeah. one uh, that's uh, sort of wine color there, that maroon, maroon near the two white ones. Yeah. This one? They're, yeah. They're right across from it. The D12. This one? Oh, this one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That looks good. That right. number is legible. I just don't like that choice of font. Mm. But it's, I think it's, it's too wispy. It's wispy, it's yeah, thin, right. I'm, I'm not loving it. You start giving me rotation on that number, and yeah. it starts to lose legibility. And obviously right. it's a die, so you don't know how it's going to last. There's another problem. They're showing you these dice in very specific lighting. Oh, of course. Sure. Yeah, I mean, so they look amazing, but in, in actual... In that shot, they mm -hmm. look nice. I right. might want to put them in a vase, but <laughs> I don't necessarily want to roll them. Well, yeah. do you want to put them in the vase for... You know what? I might even put these in a vase. Fifteen nice they are. Fifteen dollars for one die. Twenty-five Excuse for two. Me? Yeah. Yeah. Hard. Uh, that vase, you're like, look, I got a vase full of these. It costs the six hundred eighty-six dollars. <laughs> I'll just get some glass beads. There you go. All right. Uh, How do you pronounce this? Is it just ice? ice? Or is it I-C-E? Ice. I think it's ice, ice because you're actually going through ice in the game. Shut up, baby. Alright. <laughs> All right. This one is one of the biggest Kickstarters of this week, and it's from a first time group. That's a I don't know about you, but that cover catches my eye. I'm oh, gonna tell you, know you I had not heard anything about this game, uh, but apparently a lot of people had. This looks gorgeous mm -hmm. to me. I mean, there is a lot about this that is appealing to me. And there's the gimmicky factor of the board, the multi-layer board. Yeah, where's the picture? Is it gimmicky? Let's find yes. It. Am I excited about it? Yes. You know, this is like the opposite of uh, Survive the Island yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the you're digging. This is down. going down instead of right. coming up. Survive came up with the mountains and stuff. Yeah, I right. Mean, this looks amazing, and and the art style. Oh, you're style. right. I guess you were you were adding on. Yeah, this mm -hmm. looks very nice. Now, my only. Concern here was is building this thing going to be an absolute nightmare? Like, you know, putting. I think it's just like, four pieces you put together. The tiles, I'm saying, seating oh, the tiles. Seating the tiles could be an issue. I think the, the setup, because there's like, a, what, 154 hex tiles? Um, that's my only worry. Am I supposed to, like, do this without looking and then right. do it again four times without looking? Right. But I agree. Thematically, mm -hmm. very nice usage of, the, of their space, their, their play. Yeah. And then it just seems engaging. It's, yeah. it's very lovingly uh, I lo designed. I love the graphic design. I do too. It's art really, is also really good. Yeah, yeah. This, this is, looks great. This is really, really sharp looking. I was, and I don't think it's too. It's like sixty, eighty-one bucks. But I mean, it looks like you're getting a lot. Fast. It looks terrible. It does look like you're getting a lot for your for your buck there. Oh, yeah. metal coins. Never mind. I'm back We're in. We're moving up to <laughs> the 110 pledge. Oh, uh huh. Dual layer guild boards. Yeah. I'm back in. Metallic uh, ink to the box top. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. got enough that would make it. silk screen. Of course, I want silk I screen. I love silk stuff. screen. Yeah. Yeah, I would buy one of these pictures. You can get one with it. Yeah. I would buy one for a reasonable price. You can get one here. <laughs> can you? <laughs> yeah, but not reasonable. Yeah. Oh, come. that's right. You do get a numbered fine yeah. art print. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. These are nice. These are very. Yeah, nice. this is a gorgeous looking game. Uh, Ooh, well put together nice. page. Mm-hmm. For a first project too. Yeah, man. yeah, I mean, yeah. This is uh, looking great. There's nothing about this that is unappealing to me, other than, like you said, I wonder how that. Oh, and the time frame, be. sixty to ninety minutes. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Obviously, this all 
hinges on the game being good. Yeah, I read. But it through. looks good. Yeah, oh, I really like that that picture there. Yeah, That's great. the one I want to print of. Mm -hmm. Those two people, the one guy running, ah, and the other person stabbing. Yeah, there's some really interesting That's what stuff. Most of your pictures in the house show somebody stabbing. Mm -hmm. That's true. Weird. Well, I like this one here, dropping down into that pit. Yeah. I like that depth there. Mm -hmm. That's Belong cool. Belonging, baby. That looks neat. Yep. The whole thing looks neat. Go back. Go back to those uh, animated ones. Yeah. There we go. Watch. Build a camp. I'm going to go right there. I'm going to build okay. myself a camp. Then I'm going to gather up some of my dudes. Okay. I like that. Okay. I like the shadows. Then I'm going to explore. I'm going to take these people with me. I'm going to crash through the ice. Then I'm going to excavate. That's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to take. This See, was the other thing I did want to mention. The about excavation this. part is the coolest part. It I'm like, is. yes, I'm digging through and finding stuff. That's awesome. But here's one thing that does worry me about a little bit. Pulling How hard that out? is it going to be to get those out when you get into multiple? Unless you I want to take the plunger from Queensdale. Yeah. Stop stealing what I was about to <laughs> say. I probably have that in there, guys. You think? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. They're not showing it in the, in the components. That's such an obvious thing to do. Yeah, you think now that's cool. Yeah, the fact that, that you awesome? can ex keep exploring down, which mm -hmm. means you get that tessellated look. Yeah, with the layers offset. It's neat, man. It really is neat looking. All right, well that's ice, baby. All right, vengeance, roll and fight. Now both of you have played vengeance. I have not. Yes. Vengeance is, from what I understand, is a board game where someone has wronged you and you're taking everybody out. Like yeah. Many many movies. It's a revenge. Yeah, a revenge theme. Very strongly themed. You said not, and you also said not. He like he thinks no, it I, is strongly themed. I think it's a great theme, and I, I feel, think it's not. Yeah, no, I think it's a great theme because I think that what it does is that it, you know, you have this phases of the game, the wronging, where you get beat up, you find out who's done what wrong to you. I think it's great. Uh, this I, I'm I'm excited about as well because from what I can tell is it takes. The biggest issue with Vengeance is that there's a lot of minis, a lot of setup for essentially a very small puzzly game. And that is a legitimate complaint for that game, even though I do like it. This looks like they take all that out of it. There's no minis, there's none of that. You're just getting to the puzzle of getting through those rooms and trying to defeat the bosses. And So I hope it's good. I mean, I, 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 I'm hopeful. Is it possible for someone to be in that position after getting hit with a bat? There's only one way to find out, Tom. Kenny! <laughs> he might come in now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's a, it's, it's, a, it's a dice chucker and, and special abilities and stuff. I think that there's You're saying you of might it. like this better than I the board might, game. I might because it would give, if it gives me the same feel and it doesn't take me, you know, 15, 20 minutes to set it up. If this is basically the same game, though, without all the minis, mm -hmm. it's going to make that first one obsolete. Yeah, that's you. That you game up had a, point. a metric ton of plastic. It did. That yes. did absolutely nothing. No, you could have just used tokens. I, I know really that's true like... for everything. Okay, mm -hmm. I understand that every miniature could be a token. Right. But if they move a decent amount, mm -hmm. they should be something you can grab and move. Yeah. In this, they're tokens. Mm -hmm. They don't move. You set them up. And then you walk through, well, they roll can. dice. They can move, but that's and okay. you remove them. They usually don't. They move. move. You usually put them yeah. out, roll I some dice. Them up. And, and then remove them, them. That's right. I really want to see a movie mm -hmm. about the third person in this lineup. That's okay. right. Because she, she looks like she owned like a fish stand somewhere and someone wronged her. And yeah. she's like, and now. These are characters from the base game there. So they've yeah. kind of repurposed the characters. Oh, have they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that first guy has a good fashion sense. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, so it's I'm, I'm very, very hopeful that this is going to give me what I liked about the game in a smaller, quicker package. Cool. So, yeah. All right. Next. Goal! Now, this is on our list for one reason only. Okay. Because we predicted this game. We, yeah. April 1st, 2000, whatever, we made up, we did a top 10 list of um, obscure games. Mm -hmm. Yours was Light Shower. Well, we, <laughs> on, on that top 10 list, we each made up one game. On purpose, on as purpose. an April Fool's joke. As an April Fool's joke, which no one noticed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we each had nine obscure games, and one somewhere which was a fake made-up game. Right. So yours was Light Shower, mine was like Attack on Ganymede, and Sam's was Goal with a bunch of O's. <laughs> okay. Anyway, there, there it's out are. now. Mm -hmm. That's it. <laughs> is this his design? I, I don't think so. Okay. Uh -huh. Actually, I don't even think this is that interesting. No, so it's really not. It I just, it, I'm only talking about it because of that. Mm -hmm. I, though I do like the little stadium box thing. Mm -hmm. That's kind of cool. And I don't hate the cover. 
I actually like the name. I think Goal is a funny <laughs> name. Yeah. This looks okay. Yeah. It's I okay. don't care about this theme, but yeah, or any sport themed game really, but I don't this looks all right. That. Oh, look at that man! Mm. He, he has a sketch of, of his design mm -hmm. for the the mechanical design for the box. Yeah, man. Yeah. All right, it might be. I all don't right. know. I think that looks cool. All right, Z, here we go. Don't be confused. Dominion exquisite playing cards. As far as I can tell, it has nothing to do with Dominion. With no. the board game, card game, Dominion. Mm -hmm. Right. Sure. Anyway, got Dominion's a common word, really. I'll be very curious to see what Z has to say about it. I these. am too, because that's I just picked the best card game, the best selling one, to suck it on here. Mm -hmm. So. I love how you guys always have like, <laughs> like right. as though like this is just artwork. I mean like. All I'm opining on here is mm. card work. Is no, artwork. No, you're you're more. You, you are you the are, master. You are much more immersed in this world than anybody I know. I do collect playing cards, right. but at the end of the day, you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at, which is just the artwork. Right, but you also I can't talk look, about. I can't feel the card and be like, oh, this is this grade. Uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's but you also say you also are like, oh, this custom pip and the design of this, and I like it when they're you know reversed. And meanwhile, I'm just like, Boo. I like that ace a lot. Yeah, it's, I think that ace looks cool. I think these are very, very. They're beyond ornate, though. Very ornate cards. Yeah, they're, they're like, too much. I almost, you yeah. almost would feel bad Look playing. This. I want a full deck of metal cards. You're getting them. That's. Fantastic. I think it, that's my only concern here, guys. I think I, I, I do like the sort of stained glass window vibe mm -hmm. that the cord cards are putting out. Yeah. It kind of looks like stained glass yeah, uh, artwork, but. I think the uh, the cards are just too ornate. Mm. It's way too much. Like playing anything with these cards, mm -hmm. after ten minutes, my eyes would yeah. be would hurt. Would be tired. I'll my tell you the, the deep have, red and blue though. I do. I, I do like, like that. that. My problem is I wish they had done deep red and blue, mm -hmm. and then a light red and blue, mm -hmm. because I'm gonna confuse the two suits, especially on these face cards. The king of spades and the king of uh, jack uh, clubs. I'm sorry, king of clubs mm -hmm. and king of spades here. I can't. That symbol's hard yeah, for me to that's, see. Yeah, that is a, that's a fair point, yeah. The the pip in the corner? Yeah, yeah it's small. Uh, maybe, yeah. Are the, where are the, show me a court, I mean, a normal number card uh, close up. Do they have any of those? No. I think they do. I don't, yeah, but I think, I don't think they do. They have the, the sheet here. It might here. keep going. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's only this, it's only this whole sheet here. Okay, and then, right. so they are. There's no coloration on the pips. No, they just appear to be just. Black I can pips. tell the, them apart okay, but I'm saying when I spread my hand, I almost would rather there be a little bit. I don't know. The pip might be colored. It's so tiny. Mm. Um, they look all right. They're all right. I don't think I would want these for my collection, but they look all right. I like They're them better cheap. than Z, though. I think, but okay. Yeah. How much are they? Like twenty. Oh, 17. 17. 21. 21 for the red. That's not bad. That's yeah. about right. Okay. All right. Travelers of Trifosa. A team versus team. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I need to explain this. All when right. I was a kid, I, well, not when I was a kid, but I'm a, I'm a Christian, so I read a lot of Bible verses. And whenever you would see VS period 26, that's verse 26. Oh. And I did that a lot. John... Verse 3, verse 7. Mm -hmm. So when I see VS, I think it means the word verse, which is why I say that now. Got me oh, some slack. Way to make me feel bad. Mm. Verses. Yeah, we need that. Now I need to pick some <laughs> other word he says wrong. I'll so never find another word he says if, 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 there, if, if there are multiple of these, uh, of the verse, what do you call them? Look at this game that's here, all, Mike. That's, that's all I'm saying. Okay. All right, this is... A cool idea. This is one of those. I'm glad you brought this to Kickstarter. Sure. Um, and it funded. Mm -hmm. So hooray. Yeah. But I look at this and go, that is a Kickstarter project. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I also hate the art. Yeah. But yeah. this is someone's game. And mm -hmm. by that, I mean one person whose idea it was to make this. And they found perhaps, you know, an artist. And they found people. And they brought together enough folks mm -hmm. to get their game made and I'm getting a that's real it. dual ages vibe from this actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, that same kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm I, glad this is out there so that anybody if anyone looks at this and goes, This is really singing to me. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I would never give this a second go at Okay, maybe class. I don't hate the art. Maybe I I despise I think it's I'm okay. Kidding. I think I'm, the art's it's, fine. It's terrible. Yeah. I don't know if I love the board though. I think I, the 
I know I don't love the board, but why? I just doesn't. Uh, to me, it doesn't look very attractive. It looks busy. Oh, you're wrong. Well, that's. It won't be the first time. It's a, it there's the a lot time. of information here, and the graphic yeah. design is not good. I think we can agree the graphic design is. Nah. I think it's all right. Yeah, it's fine. All right, uh, passion project. Oh, ice serpent. Is that guy holding? I mean, uh, what's he holding? You call that's called a sword. Oh, he's a no! Teacher. It looked like it was attached to the stuff behind him. I thought it was like some kind of fence grate he was holding. I can't imagine that's a good way to hold a sword. Sure. It is. Maybe he's offering it to you. No, he's not. It's he's wait. wearing gloves. <laughs> is he wearing gloves? <laughs> Let's move on. Unicorn stew in a reverent card game. Let's move on. <laughs> I can't believe this is the, the kittens in a blender. The king right? is With hungry. <laughs> whatever you think about kittens in a blender. I love this picture. The king That's is sold hungry. sold a lot, right? I mean, that game is. Yeah, in, yeah, yeah. This is by the makers of that, and look at what it's doing. It's doing very poorly. It's doing is that, very is this from poorly. those people? Yes. It also looks terrible. It looks Mike. awful. It looks awful. Um, also, Kittens in a Blender is has is a reverence. It sort of has shock value. Yeah. And it has really it, cute pictures of cats. You never stupid. shows them in the it's like the king's yeah. hungry. Feed them, uh, you know, mermaid stew. And it's like. Yeah. <sighs> I don't know. These just seem so, so yeah, lazy. Yeah. I mean, look at the, the art on Kittens in a Blender. Right. You know, it, I, that's I'm, really. Look, I don't like the game. But right. that's really good artwork. Hmm. Well, compared to this, it is. But yeah. No, it, it's good it's artwork. A, it really is. Back a, off. Back off. A, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Skyline Express. Mm. This is this company's second game. The first one, I believe, is called Micro City or Small City. It's not City the first game, actually. They did, they did Pocket Mars. They did Micro City. It's their Remember? second game on Kickstarter. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. And I, I actually, I liked Pocket Mars. I wasn't a I huge too. fan of Micro City. I reviewed that, the solo game for the channel, actually. It was okay. But uh, Pocket Mars, like, this looks like a step up. You know, those were micro games. This looks like a like a... I like, game, you know? I like the name. I think Skyline mm -hmm. Express, even though it makes me want to eat some chili. Um, the, or the, what's, Skyline Chili. Skyline Chili. Is the, uh, remember the spaghetti with the chili and the cheese on top? It's Cincinnati Chili. <laughs> I told you. It's got chocolate and <laughs> cinnamon in it. Yeah. Um, yeah anyway. this, this looks... Uh, I'm intrigued by this one. I'm That's intrigued. It. That's I, happening. I, I like the... Don't uh, judge me, Roy. I like I the art. I like the graphic I design. I don't know if I like that they're throwing a roll and right game. Yeah, and that it feels seems to like be the thing now, though, I, right? I just, I automatically assume this is a bad game. <laughs> if you're what, throwing the, it in another game, right? yeah, yes. probably, probably um, so, right? I don't know, guys. You're both more positive on this than I am. This looks real lived in to me. Hmm. Like, uh, yeah, I probably own this game or something <laughs> close enough where I'm not gonna miss this already. You know what I mean? Maybe. It just looks so like you got characters, collect sets. Get points for sets and the, load the people onto the thing, and then yeah, there's sets. I don't know, and it's but like, it feels oh, like a nice middleweight style game, and I yeah, like that sort I'm of thing. I'm super not feeling this. Mm. No, I'm, I'm not like passionate about it by any means, but I think I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. I think it looks like it could be good. All I'm getting is vibes of like City of Gears. City of uh, Gears. Did City of Gears have custom ba, luggage ba, tokens ba, with pro printing Z? Maybe. That's my point. You know what I mean? I don't remember. And <laughs> I like, like wooden pieces. And I got rid of that one already, too. So it's like, uh, well, sure. I think it looks good. I think it and looks I good. want to murder Hope Nicely across done. the board. Monstrology. Just in case there wasn't enough games about where's, monsters. Where's Hope? <laughs> dream no small dream, says uh, this octopus, uh -huh. which is also a hand and has... That is a really disturbing no, picture. Great. We don't want to, uh, yeah, we probably don't want no, to examine go. these pictures too very much. But uh, oh, we don't? No, probably not. Oh, it's uh, fine. It's fine. It's, fine. It's, 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 it's a game for, here's the thing, it's a game for kids. The monsters are just freaky looking. Yeah, I just. That's horrifying. I, I don't feel like. Like, look at that one, the zipper. Like, what is that? Yeah, is no. I, the I, void in there? I don't know. There, there's something about the tone seems off on this one to me. Uh, also, I, the, the whole idea of it is like, okay. You've got all of these different attributes, right? You're gonna you're gonna pick one of these imaginary monsters. You're gonna try to to match what you see on the card. So it's like a Dixit style thing. It is We're, like super slow Dixit. It's basically. super slow Dixit, and it's like I feel like the from what I can tell, the different categories. I don't see how they're really gonna be shown on those cards. You know what I'm getting? I feel like you could make an argument for any one of these cards for that stuff. Oh, that's the game. Our, it's our, you know, it's, it's what a, is this way? It's about the weird doing? argument, you know? I know. I just, I don't know. I just. Okay, I like the hippo. You do? Well, yeah, because he just bounces around. He just, he's. <laughs> what were those toys as a kid you can. 
You oh, can, you sat yeah, on it with the little handle? Them. Yeah. I never had one of those. I didn't and either. I, was I sad. wanted one so bad. Also, the bikes, that if you turn them, it moved. the, the bike would move. Oh, you that's the turn. grasshopper. Yes. Okay. Loved that grasshopper. I didn't have one, but my friend had one. It's so, like, a, like a big wheel. So Dallas, a tabletop game inspired by tarot. I'll tell you what, folks. If I came and looked at this <laughs> Kickstarter here, I would be like, I don't know. But we played it yesterday. Yeah. Right. I like it. <laughs> I it's agree. fun. I, I think this uh, this sort of opening picture here is not a good representation of what yes. this game is like. I agree. I really think so. I think mm -hmm. uh, some slightly different artwork maybe should have been the, the representative image. Like, there like, is like, some look at this. great artwork. And there's this some amazing game. artwork in there. Yeah. yeah, look at that tiger and the whole thing. Has, yes, that sort of tarot, you know, size cards mm -hmm. and some vague thematic ties, but it's an interesting clashing game. And the artwork for each of these decks is from a different artist, and there's tons of cool looking yeah, artwork. Yeah, there, really there. there really that is. That one picture cool. at the opening that looks like a statue yeah. is actually the least kind of thematic one. Right. I, I don't know. That's that's my big concern. Mm -hmm. It yeah. is a smooth, fast game. I mean, watch our game yesterday with teaching. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was less than an hour. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I really enjoyed it, and, and I didn't know, even after the teach, I was like, I'm not sure if this is going to be a game for me, but I really enjoyed it. I would want to play again. I'd want to play with an, with one of the other characters. Right. And it uh, rewards replayability for sure. That was apparent. Does. Like, having played once, that was really apparent. The two things that I think are the, the you know, my biggest pluses for it, we mentioned yesterday, which is that they're small decks. I like that right? small deck a lot. It's a small deck, and you can get to know that deck. And I also like the fact that there were a number of times that Tom asked, so can I do this? The answer was inevitably yes. And that means that it's a game where you don't have to look for a bunch of edge cases. If it says yeah, you yeah, can yeah, do it, you true. can do it, right? So that's good. All right, so Dallas. All right, Castle Panic Deluxe Collection. Mm -hmm. This one to me is such an odd duck. Mm. Castle Panic, when it came out a decade ago, mm -hmm. sold a ton. Mm -hmm. It was one of the first cooperative games that was also very light. Yes. If someone's like, I want to play a cooperative game that I'm going to win a lot and it's light, I can play it with families, yep. I'd be like, oh, Castle Panic. That's That yes. and Forbidden Island. Forbidden Island, yep. They're the first two. Mm -hmm. Castle Panic has had multiple expansions. They remade it with a zombie theme. They remade it with a Star Trek theme. Yes, yes. And they made a nicer version of it a few years ago, maybe last year even. Now they have this... No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Did they? Yeah, I have a, like a bigger version in my oh, library. Okay, here. okay. Easy not. <laughs> now you got I don't, plastic. I, don't think so. I know my library. Yes, it's a nicer version. A Castle of it. Panic. Yes. No. Nah. Really? Not with plastic pieces, but it's a bigger one that holds these like, expansions and stuff. Oh, okay. It's oh, a big box, box version. Like a big, yes. big box. Okay. But totally. now that big box wasn't enough. Now it's a bigger box. And here's what it, this one's blowing my mind. Mm -hmm. You want everything all in for Castle Panic? I do. Three hundred fifty bucks. I, I do not. <laughs> and that's a lot of dough. 685 people want to do that. That's again, this is fine. And I like this company. I like this game. I like Castle Panic. Hmm. It doesn't feel like a $350 game. No. That's no. where I'm I'm right. a little concerned. Right. This is an heirloom edition of mm. Castle Panic. Yeah. And I do wonder if calling it something like that might have been a little more right. sort of on the nose. Well, edition. again, they're, they're making the money, so I think that they have they it are. messed up. Yeah, no, no, no. It's definitely not a misstep. I'm not pointing right. out anything wrong, but I'm, I'm trying to frame yeah. how you can sort of you know argue that this is, is or is not a $350 right. game. There's a lot of content in there. You're looking at a base game, four expansions now, I think, mm -hmm. with a new one that isn't out, right. only here. Mm -hmm. So if you want everything for this game... Gotcha. And well, actually, all the plastic, you know? This I do like, though. I'm going to give them props for this. They mm -hmm. have this $60 pledge here, right. mm -hmm. which only 29 people have backed. Right. But you can get just the plastic pieces. Yeah. Sure. So if you own the game already and you right. don't want to buy all the, and you just want the plastic stuff, you can get it. Right. Yeah. I applaud them. But you know what? Even though I think that's a cool thing, and these 29 people who backed it probably also would scream about it if it wasn't available. Sure. Obviously, just buying the whole thing at once. This is the thing to do these days. So if, what do I know? If this was your family's favorite game, then I can see that. But but I'm with you. I don't see. I don't quite see this as a three hundred fifty dollars game. But yes. Uh, I don't the know. minis aren't bad. They look good. Yeah, they look good. They look um, fine. And the artwork is definitely a step up. Mm -hmm. It is. 
Yes, this I'm, is uh, really good artwork. One thing I would, I'm not sure what the quality of those, of those cards is. Mm. Uh, that's one thing I would, did not see, but mm. hopefully they are very good, high quality. Oh, and I like the know, wooden. linen finished cards because everything yeah. else looks really good. If those cards are not amazing, then that's a problem. For sure. Man, this is weird. Now, the more I'm talking about this, the more I like how it looks, though. I, you got to get this. I like the wooden stuff a lot. Yeah. Like, the those wooden tokens, I I like that. Right. The play mat, you know, is a play mat. That, oh, that deluxe is so big. How big is it? Do they have the, the measurements for it? Because that really matters to me. It's going to be massive, Tom. Just assume it's going to be massive. Wait, it's only $100 or for a retail store. We got our license for that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Alrighty. I don't know. I don't know. But I do like Castle Panic. And yeah, it, it's a fine game. You folks don't realize how much Castle Panic has sold. It's one of the oh, best yeah. selling games. Absolutely. In the, like you said, it's, a, it's an easy recommend for, for people for that, sure. that want family. Plays to, smoothly and yeah. plays well, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Chai, T for two. So Chai came out. I'm not a huge fan of it, but you liked it more than me. I liked it me. a bit more than you did, yeah, sure. Um. And obviously did very well because this one's doing 3,400 backers for the two-player version of it. Yes. Uh, very nice couple that put this together, mm -hmm. too. How much is the one for two? It's 40 bucks? Oh, that's for the deluxe edition. Yeah, yeah, which is... which is. Well, that's what it is. There is very, no non-deluxe, is there? Whoa. I'm not sure what's happening here. There we go. Um... I'm afraid to move now. Yeah, I, no kidding. Did I move and mess something up? I, I don't know. It went black on the screen for a minute. Yeah, yeah. All right. No, we're I've getting, actually, uh, I've right actually played, uh, I've played this game, and uh, it is still a light game, but there's definitely more going on than in the base game of. Really? Chai. Yeah, absolutely. This is more of a of a gamery game than. Would chai you was. say Seven Wonders Duels and Wonders? Well, that's an interesting. Um, hmm. I uh, know because I don't think Seven Wonders Duel is is much heavier than Seven Wonders. You know what I mean? I mean they're okay. still pretty close complexity wise. This is still not a heavy game by any means, uh, but but it it's definitely the first game is a very very streamlined mm -hmm. welcoming style game. That this is a step up from that. So um, yeah, it's it's. Uh, Ooh, I like these a lot. Yeah, little metal, little metal tea tins, tins. Oh, and, and the, like the little pla wooden wooden tokens to represent the different types of tea. The art is gorgeous. I like the theme. So yeah, it's obviously doing well. All right, folks. Well, that's it for board games. Um, we're gonna take. Mark's gonna talk about some Kickstarter stuff, and then we'll be back with the non-board game stuff. Ooh. It'll let it work. My computer's trying to die again. Okay, what's going on? Are we going with Mark? The audio is coming through. It still says we're live. It won't let me press the button, though. Hold on a second. Go. Press the button. <laughs> press the button. I got a pinwheel. I think they can still hear us, though. Yeah. Press the button. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba press the button. Entertainment. Press the button. Press the button. Free entertainment for the you. Press the button. Mark Street. Mark Street. Mark, Mark, Mark Street. Mark, 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 Mark Street. Mark Street. You can hear Mark, Mark, Mark Street. You are to press the button. Mark Street. Press the button. Street. Press the button. Mark Street. Spotlight. What? See this little. Oh, you guys can't see. No, we can. So you know what you should do? Press the button. <laughs> press the button. Button. Did we run out of battery? Yeah, the battery was trying to die all the way dead. Huh. Ah. But it was fine when it was used to. If it's started. all the way dead, get the paddles and then press the <laughs> button. <laughs> press the button. Okay, I'm going to press it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, Put the paddles on the chest, yeah, clear, and press the button, <laughs> press the button. Well, you know what, folks, while we're waiting, if you can hear us, are we live? Another Dice Tower preview recap. i uh, Mark, and today we're going to be trying to harness the energy from a dying star, and we're going to be entering into jungle warfare, and we're also going to be doing battle with the boogeyman, and finally, we're going to be making some interesting dishes for the king. All right, let's jump to it. First up, let's take a look at Jungla. So this is a chess-like game to some degree, but you have two animal factions, 15 on each side, with all kinds of crazy abilities and moves. You've got different classes of animals as well. You've got like the predators and you've got the runners, things like that. So you definitely have a little bit of a chess vibe here as you're moving through the game, but really it's a battle it out, trying to defeat your opponent 
by getting to the other side of the board and scoring points. Next up we have Supernova. So in Supernova, you are on a bit of a suicide mission. You're trying to save your home world and you find a dying star. You have to harness the energy, gathering white, yellow, and red cubes to score points at the end of the game. But also you have to battle out the different types of gravity that the star is pulling on your ships, as well as others that have come to the same star that are going to get in your way. And next up, we have the stuff of legend. Now this is based on a comic book, which now I'm super intrigued to read because the game was a ton of fun. And you play as toys trying to save the boy from the boogeyman as you venture into his world. And I love the attention track. You try not to really draw attention to yourself because it makes him and the enemies all stronger when you do. So lots of twists and turns in this one. And yes, there can be traitor toys. Not everyone wants to save the boy. And lastly, we have Unicorn Stew. Just like it sounds, you're making specialty dishes for the king who has this very unique palate. You know, Unicorn is his favorite, but he also likes elves, he likes ogres, all kinds of different types of ingredients for his different dishes. And you hope that you can appease him because he never really knows what he wants. And so you'll play cards trying to appease the king's palate. You're trying to match the type of dining that he wants to do, like fast food, with the ingredients. So lots of quick play in this one for sure. And so for my pick of the week, you know, there's some really interesting, unique, fun games here like Unicorn Stew. But, you know, the stuff of legend is definitely something special. It's semi-cooperative, really, because you are working together, but maybe you're a traitor. We'll see where your loyalties lie with the boy or with the boogeyman. And I love how you adventure across the land, opening up locations and doing encounters. All right, folks, if any of these games look like they might be of interest to you, please go check out our full previews. And if you want your game featured as a Dice Tower preview, please shoot me an email. All right, folks, until next time, we'll see you at the table. You got to warn somebody, Mark. What is that all about? That is horrifying. That was nightmare juice. <laughs> all right, I just put the poll in the description, folks, so you can, you can vote. <laughs> on press the um, button press press the button no, you can vote on which <laughs> kickstarter projects you like the best all right so we'll come back to that in a bit all right here we okay, go meanwhile what do we got? let's look at stuff that's not games mm -hmm. so first we have the t-stand 2 tablet ipad and phone switch holder for bed uh-huh now initially i'm not opposed to the idea of this <laughs> no, i'm serious <laughs> okay i know sometimes at night i'm trying to find the, the right position to Move so that the iPad is not. Uh huh. Like I don't, I don't hate this, but <laughs> that part right there, I love. This is just like <laughs> it's gonna be on you, uh -huh. I guess. So you have to make sure that you are pretty right. flat on your back right. for this to work, right? So that's right. the first thing. And then also you have to be strategic with where the four right. legs kind of land on your body. That, right. Yeah, that can't be super comfortable. No, it can't be. And also, you have to be in the center of the bed because if you twist just a little bit, right, you're on the edge of the it's bed. It's top heavy. It's going to fall. It's going to be very top heavy. Top heavy to, is, is what we're getting <laughs> at. Because otherwise, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> it jumps off your chest. <laughs> right. This thing, <laughs> this thing is it's a mess. It's a sentient wow. machine. Nah, 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 nah. You wow. can call it over. One product to rule them I all. I thought that the whole point of these mobile devices was so we could hold them. Yeah, <laughs> right. No, baby, There's that's that too much. Too. I need to be no, lying listen. down. I got to have these hands free for popcorn, no, baby. In, in this case, if I'm going to lay down and have something sit on me, mm -hmm. a laptop is the same thing, Brad. Laptops are so light now. Yeah. They get hot. As they do. Yeah. Maybe there would be some sort of thing they could sell you that would hold, that would separate the laptop, you see. <laughs> right. And then perhaps hold it. Well, this is actually doing fairly well. I'm getting one. Yeah, you are. I would like I, to. I, I've said a lot of Christmas presents. This is going to be a very disappointing Christmas. They all look very happy coming. using it, don't they? I mean, they all look very happy. So well, I'm, they, I'm sold. I feel look, like they're, they're all paid. thrilled. <laughs> they're <laughs> happy. They're very happy. Look at she's thrilled. I would, I would like to demo this. How about that? <laughs> Okay, that, that seems reasonable. I um, want to try this and like oh, put one on. Look at the before. Look at that guy. He, he hates oh, everything. That guy hates you always life. Sell me on these. <laughs> Has this ever happened to oh. you? 
I need one of these to, to help me drink water. I love that the guy, I get the lady at the bed, but the guy is like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah, come like, on, dude. Oh, come on. Oh. Yeah, come on now, people. Okay. Anyhow, Horizon Black, the darkest objects we've ever created. Now, this one. Disturbingly no, black, Tom. No, okay. So, I've actually read a lot about this stuff. Uh -huh. I, If this wasn't so ridiculous. Ridiculously expensive. Yeah, I would buy one because I've read about it, and apparently, this is like mind blowing when you see it. Like I'm it's sure black. It, really, black, it, it black, looks black, like black. it doesn't exist in nature. Yes, it's yeah. like this, this isn't going to do you any good looking at it on the screen because no. the screen can only show you so much. But is I've, it disturbingly black. Is, would you it, say? It's, yes, it like has I to could. Be. I mean, this eighty-four dollars is for a. Mini. Really tiny disc. I right. would want that big black thing because that right. would be neat. I don't think you'd get the effect with the little one, really. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you need something really large enough. It, it, it almost, yeah. It, yeah, the big one is $367. Right. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, 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 no. I mean, I like the idea of, hey, here's something that doesn't look like anything you've ever seen before. But then once you've looked at it, what are you going to do? Right? You've paid 85 bucks for something that's like, ooh, that's cool. And then what are you going to do with it? I do like... The, f the fact that they show this to you, like Horizon Black is black. The world's blackest paint is really just gray. <laughs> that, uh -huh. I, that's hard for my mind to comprehend how they did that. Yeah. Like yeah, the yeah, world's yeah. blackest no, paint. That. Right, yeah. I get it. So I would like, again, this is something I, I wonder if like, if I ever see this, maybe at a science museum. Yeah, that's the thing. I, I, you got to imagine that they're somewhere in, in science museums, but I don't know that I want to pay the money for this. All right. One, three, an EDC essential gear to elevate your work life. Chris Yee asked for this, okay? <laughs> this is... So, I gotta play this video. This is such a serious video. Oh, yeah, this is no joke This is here. Yeah. a pen and a ruler uh -huh. and a level yes. that you can wear on your belt mm -hmm. and it makes you look cool. It's like a katana is what it is. This is, this is a... I just love the guy. Awesome. Also, I love... He just immediately set it to the place he needed it to, too. That's true. Yeah, no, there was no movement No there. movement yeah. at all. He found the perfect spot right away. Just now, like actually, so as much, a ruler... So much for uh, measure twice. <laughs> as a ruler, that doesn't look bad. No, it looks because like... Because you can put a knife up against it, too, which they showed at one point. Sure. But also, it's an eraser. It's an <laughs> well, really... for friction pens. Right, right, yeah. right, right. right. Because it's uh, the the ends are uh, rubberized. Mm -hmm. I think this looks kind of cool, guys. Yeah, yeah, no, it does. This looks weird, man. The mm -hmm. whole sharpening just the lead thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be perfect on that. But I, I mean, I have uh, one of these architect scales at, sure. at home. I use, uh, you know, I've used it in my past, but. Yeah, this is such a weird gimmicky kind of thing. It's oh. cute. Oh, yeah. yeah, and this also, come on. There you can you use any device on Earth to press a button. You know, I yeah. can, if I'm carrying a 20-cent a, a pencil, Matter of fact, it does um, the same thing. Yeah. I'm going to tell you what, right there, you know what that needs is a finger bot. A finger bot would help this guy. I know, I know that you're trying to do a, 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 a transition, but I'm going to stay on this. You know what fascinates me about this picture? Huh. I've never seen one of these covers on a pen, be, a, oh, a pen pad before. I have. Like the side yeah, of the binders? Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess the ones I use don't have it. That's well, why it's my... Steal your I walk around Ooh. with my own, Tom. <laughs> I just place them on it. That I thought would be... So <laughs> oh, I thought you meant you had blinders on in life. I that too. That, that, that too, yes. This I think this is... You guys are making more fun of this than it deserves... And I'm getting one, there as is Chris Yee. He's no, a giant I, th I actually think this is a slick product. It's nice, but I mean, it, it, they are making it much no, more. But the this whole, is my favorite. The right whole part Stay on this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Stay on this cat right, right there. Right there, look at that. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's, like the, that's like the pocket protector, yeah. though. Yeah. Say <laughs> I'll tell you what, if you're not walking around with a scale ruler hanging from your pocket, you're doing something wrong in life. <laughs> okay. Magnetic adhesion. <laughs> Who's making fun of it? Because I don't think it's being Mike. <laughs> I just like to point that out. All right. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Level up your game. Finger bot. Finger bot. Finger bot. Press the button. Finger bot. Press the button. Press bot. the button. Press the button. Finger bot. Press Bad the news, button. everybody. The Kickstarter is over. Oh. Good You're news. You can pre-order it. <laughs> finger oh. bot. Finger press the bot. button. Ding, ding. Press the button. Now, can you use a finger bot to press that pre-order now button? Ooh, no. No, it would need the contact to recognize Ooh, the soft but what, surface. Could you what put you, that on you it? You could put the contact on the finger bot. Oh, wait, but I can play video games better now. Yes. You know we have to press really fast Remember those games where you'd games? have to press like the... Yeah. the, 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 the 
Fruit, what's think... the one where you slice the fruit? Oh, Nin Fruit Ninja. Fruit Ninja. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finger Bot Ninja. Finger Bot Fruit Ninja. But then that requires the Finger Bot to actually be quite more mobile, to be like slashing. Finger and Bot at that two. point, Finger Bot two. we've <laughs> given up control of our, uh, of See, our lives. I, I think you're underestimating the power of Finger Bot. I think Finger Bot is whatever you want it to be. All right, you may think. You may think we're done. The world's <laughs> disturbingly red <laughs> finger bot. But wait, there's more. Oh, there's more. Fish. <laughs> fish schnapps. All right. Uh, I don't drink, so maybe I'm not getting this. Maybe, maybe this is you. 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 You've I, drunk it I once or twice in your life. I've had. I've, I've, I've been imbibed once yeah, or twice sure. in my I've existence. Had a, I've had a here's the thing, day. right? <laughs> okay. Here's the pitch, Tom. Are you ready for this? I'm uh, ready. Tell me. Schnapps. Uh huh. There with you. Usually made of various fruits, like peach, for Herbs example. Even, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cross that out. <laughs> Fish. You're correct. <laughs> you bring those two together to their logical, <laughs> and there I say yeah. disturbingly black yeah. conclusion. Fish, schnapps. I want. I want to know what eel tastes like. So here's the thing. There's Especially many, when it's That's through. actually kind of a cool bottle. I will the say. The bottle, like bottles that. are Longer. neat, but. So it's here's the thing. I can't tell you how many times liquor. I've been having, like, you know, maybe a, a refreshing margarita and thought, you know what would make this better? Cod. A little bit of haddock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but they got even Holiday. worse ones. Octopus and oyster? I don't know what's going on. Those I, this is I like to say, yeah. here's the sense. With these four flavors as our core product line. Yeah, they're going to keep I will going. Tell they you, I, make... have, I have had sake before with an oyster in it. It was perhaps the most disgusting thing I've ever put inside my body. Um, I love this. This is one part where they're like, can go you back up. Pocket? I think it's, it's the, yeah, this one. <laughs> what does it taste like? <laughs> the brilliant question. You might think it tastes disgusting, but actually, it's uh, quite mild with a pleasant nautical scent. If your best pitch is that it smells like the ocean, you got to take this stuff back to your factory. That is the, all right. Um, is, is there, really, uh, like is there a real fish in every bottle? You can relax. It's not actual fish. Just oyster. Why or would that matter? I, well, wait. I, is there no real fish in there? What's in there? I, <laughs> I want fish. In it's there. MSC certified sea products from Sustainable Fishing. It's fish oh, by product. Oh wait, I'm sorry. There will not be an actual fish in your bottle. Was anyone <laughs> thinking that was the case? Well, they do have various uh, pickle liquors pickle, yeah. that have animals in them. They do. Oh, yeah. like a. Scorpion, like a, like a lizard, yeah, or, or a worm. scorpion, or worm. Yeah, yeah, that's the but most. But so common. far, no fish. <laughs> it's better to have it cold, so keep that in mind. Oh yeah, you do want it to be chilled, of course. Any time that you've got like scrod or kelp or um, what's the uh, <laughs> what's the krill, it Wait, needs to be nice and. Did they have stretch goals? Because I want to see what other flavors they that were thinking of. That would be amazing. Of. They've made like no money. I mean, <laughs> yeah, made zero. I like dollars. this sign quite a bit. They're advertising. Yeah, yeah. This one right here. This writing. <laughs> Drink like a fish, and they just cross out the word Drink like. Drink a fish. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway, that is brilliant marketing. Okay. And those bottles are gorgeous, actually. Right. Yeah, I really do like the bottles. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I oh, like stretch goals. There you go. There we go. Okay. They're gonna do a fish <laughs> snack <laughs> tasty room. Okay, seventy. Uh, that's their, uh -huh. they're going to build another, oh, they're going to build a store in front of the building. Sure, well, I mean, why not? I mean, go go for it. How much are they making, Tom? Folks, please send me stuff like this. Bucks. Send it to Tom at DiceTower.com. If you find something intriguing, I may not put it on the show, uh, but I might. All right, let's go to Picks of the Week, and then we'll look at People's Choice. What do you got, Mike? Uh, I'm going with the Scrod. Or, no, I, I'm, uh, this is a tough one because. You like two very I much. I like two, and I'm actually backing two. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm I mean, gonna earlier go. today, you were backing one. That's because I hadn't seen ice yet, ah. and that's going to be my pick of the week. Because I, I was so impressed with this while looking through this, I actually did go ahead and back it. This is gorgeous. I mean, this and and the Vengeance ro uh, Rolling Fight are the two that I'm really interested in. But this just knocked me out. I mean, this really was very impressive to me. So, this is going to be my pick. It's a of good the week. video, yeah. I mean, um, there's, yeah. This is exciting because it's a new company and yeah. new stuff. But that whole, you know, when we we played um, what's the archaeological game called Fossilus Fossilus yeah right that was the idea of like oh dig down yes, find yes, stuff yes. this has that same thing but I think I might like this idea better yeah, because, because you're flipping the tile, you don't know what you're going to find. Right, exactly and those tiles will give you power sometimes or, yeah it looks yeah, really good yeah yeah yeah, yeah it looks really good 
I thought this might be your pick of the week, is it? Maybe this it is. This is my pick of the week as well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> Sorry, if I, if I took This your... had less competition mm-hmm. than, for me, there was less competition than, than Mike is saying. Your backup was Vengeance, right? Because he has a backup. My backup is probably some sort of uh, toad you can squeeze into perhaps a shot glass. Um, no, this is gorgeous. I love the illustrations, the style. I'm a sucker for a game that, that really sort of hooks me with its, its look, its ambiance, yeah. its uh, just general style and this one's doing it mm-hmm. yeah i agree with you mike uh i i want to try this right now perhaps yes. perhaps i could do it lying down while yes. the game is held up to me <laughs> and i have a little eel juice you know what would help remove those tiles what would you put a little bit of double-sided tape on a finger bot no a suction cup <laughs> suction cup on a finger bot i'm telling you that's going suction to happen suction cup on a finger bot, bot playing ice all right i'm gonna go to this was almost my pick and still might be, but I wanted to pick this one here. I really like this mini quest oh. adventures. I know that Z's not as keen on it, but I just think it looks neat. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the idea. I know that, again, you said it's been done many times, but there are very few games where you play in the book that I don't like. Yeah. yeah. For yep. some reason, that, that, that gives you lots of boards. Yeah, yeah. It's true. Um, and I don't know. I also, I'm still on the hunt for a light, but. Fulfilling dungeon crawl. Yeah, I can get that. There's I, just not many of them. They're either um, you're all in lifestyle right, game, right, right. or it's so light it floats away. Yeah, yeah. So I'm kind of <laughs> hoping this meets here in the middle. I'm sorry. I'm Are you stuck dist- on the finger I'm getting, No, I'm getting distracted by the the chat is on fire. There's oh, vicious, some fantastic fish, fish jokes here. They're saying fish. Uh, yeah, they're they're saying that only has to come from a particular region of Sweden. Otherwise, it's sparkling herring, and it's not. Um, Chris came in with his herring of the dog. I, I I wanted to leave that to him. He suggested that I use that on, on that camera, but I wanted to leave that to him, so the like live the, chat is on fire. I made a toad joke and somebody said toad killer. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's jump and see what toad the Kia. people picked. Yeah. I, 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 I bet they picked ice. You are ice. not incorrect. Ice. People's Baby. choice is ice. Oh, I did. and Chai Tea for Two is another one that I, I enjoyed. So, yeah, those are... Those and are Castle Panic th- Deluxe. So and those are, of course, Finger <laughs> Fingerbot. I gave Fingerbot its own slot this week. <laughs> and that's... Here's the thing. I forgot to check the thing that let people click multiple times. Oh. So the 19 or the 12 people pick Fingerbot pick nothing else. I could tell you what, if Fingerbot had a chance to vote, it would have been in the winner because it would just go tick, 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 Fingerbot, Fingerbot, Fingerbot. Let's auto refresh these to see if something changed here. No. Ah! So did anybody vote for the fish knob? Did you? Did you? Give I didn't that put the that in there. Oh, I put that would have been the clear. I do one. have an other though. So five votes. Oh, you can okay. say they're all for fish knob. Those are okay. all for the. Um, all right, so let me pull up ice one more time. There you go. <laughs> the people's oh. choice. Yeah. Ice. Dun, 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 dun. All right, folks, that's it for crowd surfing. In fact, that's it for live stuff today. We'll be back tomorrow morning mm. with board game breakfast. Um, so join us at 10 o'clock. And then tomorrow at 1 p.m., we are playing um, Return, Return, Return to Dark, Dark Tower. Tower. And you're going to see Chris and Roy playing that game. So have fun Ooh. with that one. See you all later. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. I'm Z Garcia. I'm Mike Delicio. Enjoy the fish. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> mm.